I decided to make a lightweight little car for running around town. I settled on a three-wheel layout with a single six-and-a-half horse Honda engine in the back. I wanted to be able to bolt through hollow tubes without crushing them, so I came up with this idea of using a plasma cutter and cutting a hexagonal hole on one side and a round hole on the other side, putting in a coupling nut, and then welding the nut on one side and having the threads showing on the other side. Coupling nut approach at every location on the frame where pieces like suspension pieces and steering units uh, bolted in. So here's a picture of the primary frame uh, square tubing and then the channel that's going sideways were mounting positions for the seats and body panels. Next I welded up some one inch square tubing to define the outside edges of the vehicle. Next came the front suspension. I first welded a steel block into the end of the tube and then put a couple threaded rod ends in there. That's the steering uh, knuckle. Next came the front spindle with uh, some plasma cut uh, brackets, one for steering and one to hold the brake mechanism. Then I mounted the brake calipers. I used uh, cable activated mechanical brakes. Then I mounted the magnetic pickup that goes to the trail tech speedometer. And then I put on the little billet hub and the disc. And I used a, th a threaded nut, like a Volkswagen style, like a Beetle style, to hold in position. There's the front spindle and brake assembly tucked inside a 10 inch steel wheel. The front suspension attached to the main frame using a rod end, and for suspension I used uh, a rubber bushing. I swiped that idea from uh, the Morris Mini. I decided to use a tilder style steering instead of a wheel. There's the main lower steering element, and then there's the steering linkage, and finally the steering tiller assembly. There's a rear swing arm connected to the main frame through rod ends and a couple of 12 inch long shocks on there. I mounted the engine on the rear swing arm uh, close to the back tire. Here's a series of walk around pictures of the completed frame, suspension, steering. At this point, you can see it's a really lightweight little vehicle. It's under 200 pounds at this point, and all I've got to do is add seats and the little fiberglass body panels. I was hoping to keep it under 400 pounds altogether. In the footwell and a rubber boot over the steering arm, and then I made a fender to go over the back tire and a little storage area behind the seats and then a cover that goes over that storage area. I added a metal crossbar to reinforce the back edge of the hood and also to hook the wires onto. And there's a picture of the hood with a single headlight in the middle. There's the inside of the hood with a little dash with a trail tech gauge on it. And in the center I put a little column down there with all the switches and idiot lights. Made some little side panels to go. There's the opening of where the seats go. And there are the seats in place. And a couple of views of the finished interior with the windshield in place and the mirrors in place. There's a peek at the steering tiller with all the controls on it. Here are some views of the finished vehicle sitting out in front of the house. There's a nice straight on view. And here's from the right side. The first drive system was just the centrifugal clutch and that motor it could go 35 miles an hour and did pretty good on hill climbing. It ended up weighing a little bit less than 400 pounds when it was done too. Later on I replaced the centrifugal clutch with a CVT transmission and a longer swing arm and it bumped the top speed up to 45 miles an hour and it also accelerated a little bit better too. And here it is sitting down at the beach in its natural habitat. Well thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.